What's going on everybody? It's Matt with American Ford OBD. Hope you're having an awesome day. Today is a mixture of XJ Day 4, 5, and 6. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and roll Day 3 right here where we actually got the engine start up and run for the first time. But we had a little issue. <laughs> You gotta say contact before you do it. Holy shit. Jesus. Those cats are full of shit. So. What the fuck is that noise? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but hey, it runs! Alright, it's alive! Did you turn on the heat? Turn on the heat full blast? Those cats are full of shit. <laughs> oh, it's going to start stinking in here. Gosh. But it's alive! Might have a uh, slight miss. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Here comes the smoke show. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the poor office is going to be smoked out. Yeah. Is it even clearing up? Uh, yeah, okay. It's clearing up. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, it's getting worse. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Somebody's gonna think my shop's on fire. Awesome. But it's alive! Just gotta put some more stuff in it. Okay, so Will found his whoopsie daisies. The reason it was running so poorly is because, I don't know if you can see it, but the cool pack isn't on the first fucking spark plug, Will. You retard. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that could be why it's running kind of like poo. But so far, so good, it's alive! All right, so now Will fixed his little, we're gonna call it an oopsie daisies. Is that what you're gonna call it, Will? Is it an oopsie daisy? Yep. Now that we've unscrewed his oopsie daisies, fire back up. The reason she's smoking so bad is obviously because we just rebuilt the engine, but check this out. The cats are just full and the muffler and the exhaust is full of oil. So that's why it's smoking so much from that last smoke. Speaking of which, here's the handy dandy little access hole right there. So that's not supposed to be there, but she's clearing up. See, that's running, that runs so much fucking smoother. Look at that. That weird noise you're hearing, that is the blower motor for the heater. We got to turn the heat on to get it burnt. But, yeah, hold on. Look how much smoother that bad boy runs. Purrs like a kitten. When you, when you do shit correctly. <laughs> Purrs like a kitten. Yeah, what you're hearing is the blower in there but turn the blower motor off for a second just shits and giggles i want to hear it i hear it purr make sure it purrs <laughs> oh is it smoky in there yeah see now you can't even hear it like a kitten
Okay, so we had a little issue. The little issue was a mixture of a couple of different things. Uh, the timing chain tensioner broke, um, and a, we didn't put new timing in it because you usually don't have to do that. So we went ahead and put a whole new timing system, timing gear set in there, chain, tensioner, a whole nine yards. That cleared that up. We also had an injector that wasn't working, and we also had a injector. It was the timing, and then um, one of the spark plugs wasn't actually inside the boot on the cool pack. So that was that was another Will oopsie. Right, Will? Blame my management. Oh, okay. Blame the management. Just like you blame me for the engine. <laughs> but anyways, so today is day five. So pretty much day four was we had to take the, the timing system apart, change out the timing and, and screw with the motor. But we got that working, running, everything else. But I want to show everybody what it actually looks like right now. So it's actually on its own feet, standing up. Looking good. We've got the flares off, getting ready to cut the fenders. But for now, we're actually going to take it on its first test drive. Hey, Will, before you tighten uh, anything, can you start it real quick? Show everybody at home how nice, hey, how I'll do it. How nice it sounds looky there now she's actually purring like a kitten where's the what the what grease oh it's hanging on the wall but anyways she purrs like a kitten now So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> do not jinx it, for the love of God. <laughs> Pretty much when that happened, uh, we thought it was like a rod or a spun bearing. We were freaking out, but luckily it was just the uh, the timing chain tensioner. So, thank God, and, and, and a misfire. I wish we had the old, uh, do, you, do we have the old tensioner, or did you throw it away already? Anywho. Damn. Anywho, but show everybody what she looks like. We got the rear bumper on, looking good with the lights. We've got the spare tire in there, spare 35. Got the 35's wheels on. All new brakes all the way around. We've got the high pinion Dana 30. We got the front bumper on with the winch. We got the high pinion Dana 30 in there. Sway bar disconnects, rough country spring shocks, track bar. JCR steering. She is just looking fantastic. This thing is awesome. Extended bump stops. Everything's painted and shiny and looking good. And we are pretty much buttoning the last pieces up to take it on its first ever test drive. Well, after we've done all this. All the brakes are bled, they're new, all the shoes and drums and everything are brand new. Oh, diff fluid in the front, totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> We're still going through our checklist right this second, but she is rocking, guys. Look, uh, look how clean this thing is. It's so freaking clean. The camera doesn't do it justice, but this thing's so nice. And there's our spare 35 back there. This thing's so nice. So yeah, I wanted to give everybody a quick update on the XJ. She's on her own feet. Um, it rolls, it moves. Uh, engine's fixed. Purrs like a kitten. So we should be taking it on a test drive once we're done tightening everything up. And then, um, you know, so we're not done with the exterior stuff. So we still got some exterior stuff to do. We still got to get this den out of here and we got to trim the fenders and do a little bit more. But for the most part, this is, is pretty much done. But man, oh man, this thing's looking good. This thing is looking freaking wicked. I wish I had a flashlight on this. 
camera I could show everybody. But yeah, looking awesome. <clears throat> so let's see what it drives like. All right, guys, we are in the XJ and we are rolling. Um, first impressions, awesome. Um, she still has a, a little bit of smoke uh, left over from the oil in the cats coming out, but um, you can't see it once you're driving. It's just at a stoplight that you can kind of smell it. But other than that, she's driving, she's running, driving, zero issues. Um, the lights, the dome lights won't turn off, so I think it's a door switch. We can get that fixed real quick. Um, and then uh, the only I guess the rear end is a little stiff, but I mean, it's a brand new leaf pack and it's lifted. So, I mean, everything's gonna break in, settle down, um, and just chill out. But, um, my tire machine's down, so I had to pick up the customer's wheels and tires. Uh, a buddy of mine had to mount them. But, uh, I'm getting a new tire machine shortly. But, anywho, uh, so just in case anybody's wondering what the hell those are doing back there. I figured I'd do two, two birds, one stone. I would go get some customer stuff uh, taken care of and test drive the XJ and go get some food while I'm there. Um, but uh, but everything's perfect on it. Uh, the steering wheel's a little off, but uh, you know, of course, we, we know that. We're gonna have to change, you know, straighten that out, but that's, that's a quick, easy thing. Uh, we're gonna do an alignment once we uh, get this back, but otherwise, temperature's staying great. No issues, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, over here with the camera and stuff, but I, I can't, I don't know where the camera is, but uh, temperature staying great. Uh, we've put some gas in it. Man, she rocks and rolls uh, until you hit some pretty like big potholes and stuff, but just like flat road, smooth, smooth can be, no issues, but you hit a pothole, the back kind of jumps a little bit because <laughs> a little stiff. But that's okay, she'll settle down. But otherwise, uh, I think with a, uh, a good cleanup, a buff and maybe a couple more um, exterior stuff to make it look super duper awesome. I think this thing is done. Uh, we'll be able to flex it out and test that. So, guys, this thing's freaking awesome. I'm so excited. Uh, this is uh, this is pretty badass. We made we made one good Cherokee out of two slightly crappy Cherokees. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really nice. Like, I wouldn't mind owning this thing. It's that nice. But, uh, and, and everybody knows me. I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of Cherokees. And I don't know why. It's just, I don't know. I just, without stiffener, like, I just don't like the fact that you have to stiffen it to really make it feel nice and ride nice and all that other stuff. I just don't like that part. But as far as, like, a vehicle just in general, and especially an off-road vehicle, a daily driver, whatever, no, it's freaking awesome but but yeah she's uh she's almost there running driving doing her thing <laughs>